flag, the the, the ensign bearer <clears throat> of the Communist Party. Yeah. But wait, by the way, Jesse Jackson was in Ann Arbor. Okay. Um, and I couldn't really understand what he was saying, but I, mean, I think after the election. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just recently. Ann Arbor, Michigan. All right. <clears throat> yep. At U of M. Yep. Go figure. <clears throat> and he said, and I know this is later in our page, but he said that uh, Obama needs to, just like Gerald Ford did, needs to give Hillary Clinton a preemptive pardon. Ooh. Can they do that? I guess they can. Yeah, they can. They can, they can pardon for any crimes that have already happened, even if they haven't been found yet. Wow. So you can't pardon for the future, but you can pardon for crimes that have already occurred, even if they get found after the pardon. Like murder. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that kind of ridiculous? That's a, like a free ticket. It seems to me, well. I mean, for everything that you've done. That you've already done, yeah. So you could stop sweating. Like, oh, right. I was going to say, geez. oh, jeez. They pardoned Hillary Clinton, oh. and she's like, well, now I can show you where Jimmy Hoffa is. Yeah. <laughs> and the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> they actually found the Lindbergh yeah. baby. <laughs> but uh, maybe Amelia Earhart, she'll tell us yeah, where right. she is. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> that uppity woman. How, t- how dare she think she can fly around the world. I'll show her. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to hell. <laughs> All right. Uh, and also is Hillary Clinton. So okay. uh-oh. Oh, yeah, man. she probably will. <clears throat> but, Let's uh, take a break. Okay. Well, I, I, I've got a trivia or a, uh, a uh, trivia the, question. Well, yeah. first, the only point I wanted to make was okay. the Democrats and the liberals. When Gerald Ford did pardon Richard Nixon, uh-huh. they weren't happy. Like they yeah. they screamed and yelled, oh, and, I, and I don't blame them. Yeah. I I don't like pardons like that. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. Political pardons, <clears throat> right? But uh, they weren't happy. But now they're calling for a pardon of Hillary Clinton, and I'm not sure why they care. She lost. Right. She's, she's going to go away now. She's old news. Yeah, she is absolutely old news, and uh, she's going to go away. And I think we'll go back to, yeah. I don't know, maybe a a better country and a, and have some economic growth. I'm not. I I hope so. I'm not hold my breath for any of that but let's do trivia all right so this one this one's a good one i like this one uh, i found it interesting because i did not know that and I, there's nothing i don't know right nate yeah right all right so what now this is key what american institution did napoleon's grand nephew charles bonaparte found in 1908 what American institution did Napoleon's grandnephew f- help found in 1908? <clears throat> and that's it. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> 